pitch on its way. Dees ropes it to right center. Kane on the run, as is Latimer, but this ball hits off the wall on a bounce. Cooper scores. Dendy follows him. Pratt on his way to the plate. The throw goes to second base. Kate Dees has a bases clearing double, and the Statesmen increase their lead to 6 1. Henderson State goes for the record, and they have it. 119 75. A new pool record, a new NSISC record, and they are the back to back men's 200 yard freestyle relay champions. Ball kept alive right at the net, on the ground, and off the top of the net. Purdue Northwest makes their own luck with a couple key digs. Here's Elijah Howe. Dos Santos on the charge, oh and he God, slips it into a, the left corner. That was a great goal. Kainan Dos Santos, goal number 11, yep. point number 22, and West Florida doubles their lead. You can't see the players' faces fully through their masks, but you can just tell they are so invested in every point there has not been a single moment while the ball has been in play where there hasn't been someone screaming and cheering yeah a spike almost gets purdue northwest to set point they'll have to reset on offense duggan from behind the attacking line she finds some space and purdue northwest is a point away Cartwright to Dietrich in the corner. How about another three and another swish? Kellen Dietrich smirks at the MC bench as he makes his way back down the floor. 15-8, Delta State with 12.40 to go. O'Dwyer chips it forward. Lopez Melu speeds Gruber to the spot. Follow-up effort. Tammy rifles it into the back of the net with two minutes and 14 seconds left. Caleb Tammy provides the equalizer. Bowden after it, a spike and a one-handed save from Bell. Ball is caught in the lights. It got trapped in the netting, or rather the wiring above the net. That was such How a do you long score those? Rally. I know, I know. Usually it'll be called a replay because you can't do anything with that. Hold on, that ball's still moving. Maybe it's still in play. <laughs> I, I think they'll call a replay on that one. You know, I think you're right. I'm just hoping that ball <laughs> just doesn't fall during the point and hit someone on the head. The one, one right back up the middle, hits off Zisman's glove, doesn't get too far away, goes to second for one, throw to the plate, and they got him! Landon Zisman to Jake Barlow to Brett Cobb, the 1-4-2 double play, and a heads-up defensive job from the Statesman, keep the Falcons off the board. Great job by Zisman not to rush his throw at second because it was put in the perfect spot to allow Barlow to make a quick relay to the plate. The ever conventional double play. Two away now, a run erased off the board, and just one base runner at first. So Riley Kane's speed gets neutralized, just a runner on first base. That's Brandon Moore for Will Pratt. Pickoff throw, they got him too. Landon Zisman had two runners on, and he leaves the inning with none stranded. Knocks a hit attempt off the net. Thompson to set for a white blocked and out of play. Bodwin in the right place, just couldn't make the right connection. Yeah, they got to press their hands over. Their hands were still on their side of the net when Grand Valley's attacker touched the ball. Your hands need to be already pressed over the net when the attacker touches the ball. Two straight points for the Lakers at 6-4, but an errant serve gets Purdue Northwest back out by three. That might be their oh, second service error. I was going to say, they're usually a very efficient serving team. You don't see teams like Grand Valley State make too many mistakes on serve, but when they do, this is when you have to capitalize. Those unforced errors just come few and far between. Case in point, Jayliana Primus with a powerful kill. Yeah. She's really, um, she was red-shirted the last time we played them, so she's really, really come along. Primus has made her mark on this match if Abby Graham has been option number one right at the net. It feels like Primus has been 1B. Yeah, yeah, no, they're they're a nice one-two combo, and they play in the positions that are held most accountable for producing points. So they're, uh, if that's why Graham Valley's 9-3, and three, then it's a, it's a pretty indicative of how good they have their 0-1 and their M1 position. A couple straight... Big net front plays from Grand Valley State have closed the gap. However, an error has made it eight to six, pride leading by two. And 
going back to that point about Grand Valley State having so many good net side attacking players, it's not just Graham and Primus. It's Sarah White. It's yeah. Kaylee Grolke. It seems like every time they have someone on the floor putting their hands up at the net, it's going to be tough to get the ball past them. 